Hey guys, Parox Gaming here, and in this video I'll be walking you through some 3x3 three three example solves, and hopefully this video gives you a better idea of what someone who's faster than you would do in a situation where you might do something slower. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, let's get started. So here's the first scramble, and I scrambled all these cubes with green in front and white on top. So I highly recommend that you scramble your cubes and follow along because it'll be a lot easier to remember things. So to start off this solve, I did a quick R prime to insert the orange edge piece and then I aligned the cross. From there, I inserted the green edge piece and then I moved the did a U2 to move the blue one over and insert that. That finished my cross and immediately I saw this green and orange pair right there which I took out and reinserted properly. And then from here, I saw the blue and red corner piece fly over the blue and red edge. And then I apply this quick trigger to solve that and insert it using the F prime lowercase r u lowercase r prime algorithm, which is very handy to insert pairs on the left side. Next, I solve the green and red pair in the front right position right there. And I split it up and I inserted it into the back right. Finally, I had the blue and orange pair left, and this is a pretty tricky case, but I learned this very handy algorithm, and I highly recommend you learn it as well, because it will really help you solve this case, and I was able to quickly finish that up. From there, I got a pretty easy OLL. I actually really like this OLL. It's just a fun, nice, fun one to solve. And after that, there was a G perm, which wasn't so good, but... I was still able to pull off a sub 14 solve there, which I was pretty happy with. So here's the next scramble, and it was a pretty good cross actually. I think it was like a five move cross. So since the green and blue edges were opposite of each other, I brought the red one over the blue. So when I brought the blue down, I could easily insert the red. And from here, I align the cross and uh, solve the orange one, which is already matched up with the color. And I, I don't know why, but I did an R2 here. Then I got confused, and I just did an R prime to fix that. Anyways, and then I found the blue and orange pair, and it was also a similar case to what we had in the first solve, I think. So I did a quick trigger to solve that. So I solved the pair and inserted it into the back right position, which using that very handy algorithm that I also recommend learning. And next for the second F2L case, it was the green and orange that I noticed, so I took the edge piece out, and then I did a cube rotation so I could easily insert it into the back right position. The next one I saw was a pretty uh, basic case with the blue and red pieces stuck together, so I just had to split them up and insert it. It was kind of a waste of a cube rotation there, but I s still managed to get a good solve out of this, so I inserted that into the front left. And then this pair aligned up pretty nicely for me. I just had to do a quick algorithm to solve that. And then I kind of messed up there, but I inserted it into the back right. From here, it was a pretty basic OLL, the T OLL, and I just did the sledgehammer to solve that. And finally, there was an H perm, and that turned out to be a really good solve. So next, uh, this scramble was a really, really good one. It gave me an almost a four move X cross actually. So for this, the blue and the green were already aligned and I just had to align the orange one by doing a D prime. And then I solved the green and before, and then I brought the blue down before I solved the red, I noticed that there was a pair solved while I was inspecting. So I preserved the blue and orange pair there and then inserted the, the red edge piece. And then from here, I quickly solved the first F2L pair that I already inspected. Next, I noticed the blue and red edge piece was flipped, so I quickly took that out and uh, flipped it around and reinserted it. From here, I noticed the green and orange pair. This was also a tricky case, but I learned an algorithm for this, so I was able to solve that one quickly. And once I solved the pair, I inserted it into the back right using that algorithm that I showed you guys earlier. Very, very handy, as you can see. Finally, we had the same case that we did in the first solve, I think, with those two pieces connected together, and I was able to solve the green and red pair very easily like that. And the OLA was a very easy single trigger one look case. I was able to solve that very fast. And I think for PLL, it was a V perm, which did slow down the solve a little bit, but I was still able to pull off a sub 13, I think.
So anyways guys, that was it for this quick video. I hope you enjoyed these slow it down 3x3 example solves. If you want to see more of these videos, remember to leave a thumbs up and also leave me some feedback so I can improve my future videos since this is my first one with these slow it down and commentary walkthrough solves. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.